yourself. Ah, the mighty Mystios. You've proved yourself capable before. I could use your talents. One like you is always interested in more drachmi, yes? Payment is well and good, but... I'm happy to help you. Tell me what you're thinking. I have an appetite for rare treasures. I've heard many veiled rumors and provocative stories, and I want you to recover some of these lost wonders for me. Tell me where to look, and I'll bring you these treasures. Have you heard of the mighty Ajax? One of Homer's heroes? Yes. He had a golden eagle feather, a gift from Zeus. And why do you care about it? It is a rare reminder of a glorious age, and so deserves to be in my grasp. Take these maps and see if you can find it. I'll find this feather for you, if it's there to be found. Gods be good. I think this is the right spot. Hmm. Empty. Someone else had the same idea. We are doomed! The gods will curse our names! It can't be that bad. Oh, it's terrible. Tell me what happened. The lighthouse was plundered by bandits. The terrors of Kiknos. I fear they've gone to the Mekinian tomb of Ajax. I'll deal with them. Oh, no. There are too many of them. They won't expect anyone to come after them. I'll sneak up and surprise them. You return on the wind. Do you have Ajax's golden feather for me? Here. One golden eagle feather, per request. Ah, oh, what a pretty, pretty thing. Glad you're happy. Now, my pay. Calm yourself. Here. For your trouble. Thanks. You flew like the west wind in retrieving my golden feather. Now, fetch me another rarity. Sure. I'm up for whatever challenge you have in mind. A wealthy noble from Macedonia is visiting various sanctuaries throughout the Aegean, looking for the most sacred to make a great offering. Oh. What would he offer the gods? And why? The why is unimportant. Perhaps he asks the gods to make his drachmi multiply, or to harden his cock. <laughs> but the offering is said to be a crafted golden bracelet, as beautiful as Aphrodite, with workmanship to rival that of Ephaestos. It would look better on my wrist than on an altar. Good enough for now. I'll keep an eye out for the bracelet you want. The lid of the offering box. These ribbons tied the box shut. Huh. An offering box is missing. Flower petals. These would have lined the offering box. Someone tossed the box here, but it's empty. 
Perhaps one of these couples saw something. I thought you would like it. Does it matter if I like it? You stole from the gods. Do you have any idea how much it was worth? What it's worth? What's a curse from the gods worth? Don't be a superstitious donkey. That bracelet was priceless. Hey, all you care about is money. What about how I feel? Hey, I wanted to impress you. You wanted to get into my clothes, you mean? Hey! Huh. What do you want? Which one of you idiots stole the bracelet from the shrine? By Poseidon, she knows. Shut your teeth. She doesn't know anything. How could she? Maybe because every goat herder around could hear your spat. Give me the bracelet. You don't scare me. Where? I threw it off the cliffs, into the sea. Malaka. Guess I'm going for a swim. Ah, my lovely Miss Theos. What news? The time I sink into finding these trinkets for you had better be amply rewarded. Does my little oblites feel undervalued? I don't see you risking your life over wild waters. Ha! Ah, in my youth, I sailed every sea and explored every island as if driven by Poseidon. But now I carry a burden like Atlas. Don't worry, Cassandra. I have a fat purse for your efforts. So, my west wind returns. It seems I've picked up your taste for treasure hunting. Is there no greater passion? So what do you have for me? A group of bandits has put their hands on Triton's conch shell. They think it has the power to control the tides. Many would want such a thing. Will you bring it to me? More maps. How else would you find the bandits? Go on now. I want that shell. From your lips to the gods' ears, it will be in your possession. It is your work that gives me riches, not theirs. I'll be back with your shell.
been hit by an earthquake. not swim through that tunnel again. There's a breeze in here. Must be another way out. I have what you need. Give it here, then. Any trip that involves me diving into an underwater cave doubles the cost. I'm not sure what the better addition to my collection is. This shell, or the one holding it? It's always a pleasure to have your drachmi jingling in my pouch, Xenia. My west wind. You have shown a keen nose for hunting treasure. I'm hoping to rely on you now for more personal work. What did you have in mind? A crooked merchant stole several of my maps. A dishonest merchant got the better of you? His act burns in my breast. The maps pointed to relics that would be crown pieces in my collection. Find them, and I will shower you with drachmi. Tell me what happened. The Cosner of Tolikos is a swindler and a cheat. He robbed me of some of Aximandros' best work. I'm sure he's planning to find my treasures and sell them for a fortune. Okay, okay. I'll try to find him before he can do that. He rats about Nafplio. Check there. I'll see what I can uncover. I've come to talk to you, little man. Eh? Who are you? You know what? I don't care. I don't like your look. What's wrong with my look? You smell like you don't have any money. You don't like the way I look or smell? Xenia sent me. But I am tougher than her crew. Xenia? Ah. Oh. She remembers me? Oh, yes. And she's not happy. Return the maps you stole, and I won't have to hurt you. Stole? Is that what she told you? She lost them to me in a bet. You tell her not to cast dice and cry over the results. I don't care if she lost the bet or dropped them while drunk. She wants her maps, and you're going to give them to me. Now. Stuff it in your ass, Malaga! Have it your way. No! No! Enough! Stop! The maps are in my residence. Where? It lies next to the Nafplia shipshed, not far from here. The maps better be there, or I'll come back for you. Treasures Xenia wants.
must be the place. Pan's flute. Kenya will love this. Give for this. The tide has brought my favorite little weapon back. What do you have for me? You know how much work I had to do for a couple of ordinary musical instruments? I could have just gone to the market. These are not common instruments. These are fine works of art. Then you should pay me double. Double? Malaka. <laughs> I like the way you think. Done. Thank you. Now, my west wind. Your timing is sharper than a spear point. I have a much more serious matter to discuss. Follow. Still breathing? <sighs> Everything hurts, so I guess so. Galatia limped home after her ship was attacked. She lost vital cargo, and several of her crew were taken prisoner. You could fix these problems for me. What do you need? Galatia, tell your story. We were sailing near Pelene when we were ambushed. Our ship was boarded and sunk. I escaped, but I lost our prized cargo. Leave it to me. I'll find your crew, and your precious cargo. must be Anaximandros. Uh, yes! How did you know? I've studied so many of your maps, I feel as if I know you. Our precious cargo, Exenia's coffer, will be held in their treasury. Can you recover it? I will. May Poseidon shower you with fortune for saving me. Thank you. You should be safe now. This must be the coffer that Xenia covets. found my coffer and rescued my crew. I know you'll find it ridiculous, but this clay doll was a gift from my mother. A strong figure she was, tough as Ira and clever as Athena. She cared for us after my wretch of a father got himself lost. We're dead. I didn't expect that. No one is only one thing, my West Wind. True. Enough chatter. I have another use for your tongue and your hands. Your skills are needed. Yes. I'll go down with you. Perfect. Let me show you my private collection. That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. It looks like I'll have to report you, Socrates. It's what a good citizen would do, right? Oh, very good. Although a bit preemptive without all the details, wouldn't you say? It was a joke. The real question is whether there is truth behind the joke, or if one's mind can be changed once the whole story is revealed. What story is that? 
There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystios judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? It doesn't matter why he stole the horse. It belongs to someone else. You surprise me yet again. I truly believed you would choose the other side. Because I am a Mystios? Of course! Yet, when it comes to someone else, you decide a crime deserves a consequence no matter the reason. A safe choice, although I can think of times when it may not be right. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. <laughs> Alkibiades, you look like you're having fun. The gods work fast. I wished someone as beautiful as me were here, and you arrived. It's almost unfair for the both of us to be in one place. It'll make everyone else feel bad. Oh, don't worry about them. These poor fools have accepted their fate. The gods decided many should lack in beauty, while you and I bathe in it. You do realize the sun is out, right? Yes, what about it? Starting a bit early, aren't you? Starting? No, no. This is ending in the most spectacular fashion. Another successful party, then? The only kind I know. Although I have a slight problem. There's an important politician here who really needs to get back home. But gods know I can't make the trip. I'll make sure he gets home safe. Yes, safe. Right, it should be an easy trip, although you may have to carry him at this point. Lucky man. I'll try to get the politician home before he completely passes out. Wonderful. Uh, just take him north of the port of Piraeus. His home is somewhere around there.
Why did you bring me here? Is this really where ah, he lives? It's exactly like we were told. Get him! My life. Any reason someone would want to kill you? I am a politician. Could have been anything. Thank you, Miss Theos. You have the habit of appearing the moment I need you. What a power I may wield. Is there ever a time you don't need me? Good point. The drunk politician you had me take home? We ran into a bit of trouble. That's terrible! I'm glad to see you're okay. Yes. Thankfully, we both made it out alive. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. You seem disappointed. I'm just... Uh, impressed you were able to save the both of you. You said you needed something? Ah, to business already? Fine. It's simple, really. There's an item that holds great sentimental value I'd like you to retrieve. What do I need to find? It's an Olisvos. If you saw it on the ground, even you wouldn't bend over uh, to pick it up. But it means so much to me. To hold it again would mean more than you know. I never took you for someone who cared for sentimental things. I'm so much more than my beautiful face and flowing blonde locks. Like what? Well, let's see. People forget I'm an orphan. ...that Pericles isn't my father. I know what it's like to lose family, too. Ah, <sighs> we have that in common. There's more to you than I thought, Miss Theos. Now, where were we? I'll get the Olisbos for you. There's a small chance the woman may wish to keep it for herself, uh, to spite me. It may be best to go unseen and hurry back. She lives east of here. Don't worry. You'll have it in your hands soon. Out of sight. Back up, Mistios. Too close. Huh? Oh, oh, He's 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 in your hand. You brought it. Hmm. It's different than I remember it looking. And much bigger, too. She's going to miss it. This was never yours, was it? You had me steal it. We didn't just steal an Olisphos. We stole a family heirloom and a husband's confidence. Without it, he'll be focused on his wife instead of his business. I think she'll enjoy the change of pace. So, it is sentimental. Just not to you. The only thing that matters is you retrieved the Olisphos and helped me a great deal. What about me? Now, now, we wash each other's backs, don't we? There's a reason you never turn me down, after all. How about I show you how this Olisphos can make all the difference? <sighs> you know you've made me curious. Let's try it out. I knew you'd be open to it. Oh, that was... something. It's different, but you'll get used to it. Ah, I hope you're right. Uh, 
A power I wield indeed. I told you last time I thought I could summon you when needed. And it has happened yet again. And for what this time? My friend here needs to be taken to the sanctuary of LFCs, near the border of Mecharis. He'll finish the trek across the border on his own. I'm always happy to help a friend of yours. Is this one drunk as well? Not at all. And that politician was not my friend. Let's get to it. I'm just supposed to take your friend across the border. Yes. Nothing else? Carefully, if you can. Avoid roads, people. Be invisible. My friend must be kept safe. I'll make sure he's safe. I'd hoped you'd say that. We should be on our way. He needs to get to the Sanctuary of LFCs. It isn't far, although it may take you longer than usual. It won't be a problem. I'm glad we aren't going by sea. Alcibiades told me about you. He said you're blessed by the gods. I was starting to get sweaty under that hood. You're a woman. Nice of you to notice. Alcibiades said... Exactly what I told him to. It was safer that way. I owe Alcibiades a lot for his help. And for trusting you with my life as well. I'm glad I could help. Please give Alcibiades my thanks. I only wish I had more to offer him. And you, for the help. I'll never forget either of you. LFCs, what great mysteries do you hide from us? You want to start trouble? <laughs> the sun and moon combined could not grant the beauty that my bride-to-be was gifted. If the gods blessed me, they did so with one eye closed, but their eyes were wide open for her. I'm hurt. You never talk about me like that. My sweet Mistyos, such words cannot be handed out at will. It's as though Apollo himself is speaking through me. So, you're in love? Yes. The wedding nears, and there is so much to be done. If you need help, I'm here for you. Accepting before knowing what I ask of you? That's a rare surprise. I do still need a few things. Food for an offering, a ring, and some flowers. If you could bring them to my bride, Iris, she'll make use of them. So, flowers, a ring, and food. Where can I find Iris? She should be at the Altar of Love. Aptly named, don't you think? Oh, and uh, don't be too taken by her beauty. I should try to start. <laughs> These flowers should be good enough for the wedding. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this jewelry is up to Alkibiadis' standards. Nice enough offering. Let me guess. Alcibiades sent you. He did. How did you know? 
He has a skill for making others do things he doesn't want to. On top of that, he prefers if those people are attractive. He's so predictable. It's what made this whole thing so easy. It almost sounds like you're using him. What has been easy? Making him fall in love with me, of course. Please, Alkiviadis is not the man you marry for love. Then why are you marrying him? Alkiviadis has a true chance of ruling one day. Well, he'll be the face, but I'll be the one truly leading. The Aspasia to his Pericles. I'm impressed. I didn't think Alcibiades would ever be on the receiving end of something like this. He's used to being on the receiving end. Well, you definitely have something in common. I'll pretend that was a compliment. And what if I tell Alcibiades all of this? Why would you? You've seen him, he's happy, and I'll make sure he stays that way. There's nothing wrong with me getting something in return, but it's your choice. Thanks for helping with the wedding. It's all done. Wonderful. So, what did you think about Iris? You must see something in her that I don't. Well, that's true. Quite often, too. But still, I'm surprised to hear you say that. You can't marry her. She told me she's using you for her own gain. Is that so? It is. I knew she was special. To think I wasn't able to catch on. I can't wait to marry her. Uh... I'm glad you and I were able to work together, Cassandra. So what was all of this for? Everything you had me do couldn't have been for nothing. Everything I do has a purpose. I'd like to tell you what that is, but it's too risky to share. Just know you've made things a lot easier for me. Glad I could help, I think. You will be. You'll know one day that what you did was for the greater good. Thank you. You! Come here! Come to see the richest man in Achaea, have you? You don't look rich. The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. Rich? Wanting for nothing and calling me over to help. Doesn't make sense. Ah! <laughs> a mind that thinks for itself. Someone save me from this horror. <sighs> relax, relax. The name's Democritus. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. I'm... Cassandra. And I've never heard of you. Probably says more about you than me, Cassandra. <laughs> now you came here to help, hmm? So happens I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. Mathematical discoveries? Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe. Which, as you know, is a place where mysteries strive to remain locked. Bring these three theorems to me, and I will reward you handsome. So, you get the theorems, and I get a reward? From a man who seems completely disinterested in Rahmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots! What I offer is far greater than that. But first, the theorems. Fine. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one. The Golden Ratio? Democritus will want to know I found it.
Κασκέρε, Δημόκριτος. Κασάντρα! <laughs> What have you brought me? So, I found Zeno's paradox. You did? <laughs> And what did you think of it? The tortoise arrives at a point. Achilles, who is chasing it, runs after him. But after Achilles arrives at the same point, the tortoise has moved on. By the time Achilles arrives at the tortoise's new spot, the creature has again moved further. <laughs> exactly. It shows how the universe divides itself infinitely. A mathematical theory hidden in a child's fable. Zeno was clever. Every knowledgeable old man I've ever met was an idiot. <laughs> but the minds of children are endlessly wise. I found the original golden ratio. A discovery that will change the course of existence. At first I didn't think I saw anything special about it, but... The sides of this diagram aren't even. The side marked A is almost half of the side marked B. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> a and B are to A as A is to B. So how can this theory be used? Used? <laughs> it isn't used, only observed. It is the divine balance occurring naturally in the most measurably beautiful places in the world. It is everywhere. And nowhere. It took some doing, but I found the Pythagorean theorem. The greatest breakthrough the world will ever know. And now we have it, in its original glory! <laughs> I thought it might be about the points of the triangle, but... ...the theorem is about the length of the sides. Astute! <laughs> You're wiser than you put on. The two shorter sides squared, when added together, are equal to the square of the hypotenuse. That was... a lot to take in. But I think I found everything. You did! And with this, I can finally form my grand theory. The theory that simultaneously divides and unites all the universe. All of this sounds... ambitious. One can't achieve greatness by attempting mediocrity. <laughs> but I confess, I have a personal motivation. Everyone always does. Ha! In another life, you would have made a fine student. When I was a student, I loved a poet. But I was so consumed by study, I never told her. I hope to use these theorems to show her my poetry. And maybe to win her heart. If that's what you want to do, let's do it. What? <laughs> right now? You missed your chance to tell her once, Democritus. There's no point in missing it again. Let's go. You're right. This time I will do it properly. I never would have guessed you were a lover. Well, I wasn't. My theory that all atoms exist with a great void between them is a bit like the life I've lived. But not anymore. Now you're filling that void. Maybe. Maybe what fills the void and what draws us together is love. Save that line for the poet, Democritus. It's a good one. No! That's her! Those bandits stop them! <laughs> Democritus, I'm sorry. They killed her. For it to end like this. After all this time. You have your theorem. And the others. Read them to her. Let her see your poetry. It's too late. It's never too late. You can go. In another life, she might have known my love for her. You might have been my student. Imagine the happiness we'd have known. A wise man told me... ...the richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. Don't want for the past, Democritus. I'll leave soon enough. But for now, I think I want for privacy. Take this and leave me to mourn, Cassandra. Gods themselves would be envious of this hunt.
Slayer, I'm glad to see you again. The Hind of Kerinea's pelt. I remember being awestruck when I caught a glimpse of her through the trees long ago. It was an honor to hunt such a noble beast. For all the suffering and death I've seen, when you see something as magnificent as this, words escape me. <laughs> Artemis was right to bring you to me. A warrior's heart beats within your chest, yet it is tempered by kindness. I'll return when I have more pelts. Blood or change? Finicus must choose. This artist's work is everywhere. Their dislike is as clear as water. Answer with a weapon. Then there'll be no backtalk. You have to think before you act. This is politics. However tempting it is to act on instinct. This rebel obviously wants attention. Someone should give it to them. I had a similar thought. And I think that someone could be you. Tell me where they are and I'll put an end to this. See the pigment of the paint. It's a rare color and I only know one artist who chooses to use it. Last I heard, he lives in a cave at the Rutsuna waterfall. I'll stop them. We cannot answer their threats with violence of our own. That will add more fuel to the fire. That's what you want. It is what she wants. Finicus wants to fight for the people, not against them. Just stop them making any more art. Mm, if you consider this art... This came from whatever wrote this message. I'll take it to the art merchant. <gasps> There's some hair stuck in the paint. Maybe from the brush the artist used? I'd better ask Angelus. to ask you. Go on. It's the slow season. 
I found these rock fragments near the graffiti. Do you recognize them? That, my friend, is emery. Used for various artistic endeavors. Won't give the pottery as good of a shine in that state, though. Emery? The rock? Is it found on Naxos? It's mined from the Rotsuna waterfall. I found this hair stuck in the paint of the graffiti. Does it mean anything to you? Many artists here on Naxos use wild animal hairs to form the bristles of their paintbrushes. What animal is this hair from? It's too long to be a deer. I've heard that some thrill seekers like to get hairs from the bears that live on the island. They're mad if you ask me, but artists are an unusual sort. Thank you, Eroso. Maybe you'll buy something next time. This color looks strange. I should ask the art merchant where the artist could have got it. <gasps> I have some things to ask you. Go on. It's the slow season. This pigment is only used in the graffiti. Has anyone been buying this from you? Hmm. I do remember a man asking about this color now that you mention it. Just him? Yes, from what I remember. I didn't have any when he asked. He seemed impatient and asked if anyone else sold it. Thank you, Eroso. Maybe you'll buy something next time. There you are. I've been looking for you. Who's I? Finica sent me. To find and stop the artist. You. You're here to kill me. That's up to you. Please, Mistios. Finicas is a great leader. Tell her I said that. And just a hand, not a mind. Tell me why you did it. I was commissioned. A contract from soldiers. They have power. You try to find people like that. I would. I'm not spineless. Miss Dios, I'm a poor artist. The Archon promised Rach me I've never dreamed of. And look where it got you. I'll stop now, I promise. Not another word. You made a mistake. A big one. As long as you own up to it. I do, Miss Dios, I do. Here, my contract. See for yourself. We're finished here. You won't hear from me again. <laughs> 